when I tell a story, I remember, let's see, the first and the last line. Remember, I do not memorize every word of my story. No, I, I need to know about the characters and the setting, of course. And if I remember the first line and then also the last line, I will be on a story path so that my story will make sense to the audience because I don't want it to get all mixed up in between. So a storyboard helps me to remember that story. So I am going to share my storyboard with you about a daily routine. Let's see if you can notice the beginning, middle, and end. Is there a problem that I needed to solve? And what was the conclusion of the story? Here it is. One morning, I knew that I was going to go to a school to tell stories. So as usual, I got up and showered and I went into the kitchen, made myself a good breakfast so I'd have lots of energy for the day. I went into my closet, got my storytelling shirt and skirt on and put on my shoes. I drove to the school, went on the stage, played my opening song and started my stories and all the children were watching. But when I was all done with my storytelling session, I finally looked down at my shoes. What did I notice to my surprise? I had on two shoes and they were two red shoes, but they were not the same shoe. They were different. Oh, I thought, oh my goodness. But none of the children said a thing or the teachers. But when I got home, I realized next time I get up early in the morning, when I go in my closet, I need to make sure I turn on the light.